It's that time again, time for another devlog. Now, seeing the game so far, I really feel proud that I can almost call this a video game. But before I do that, I need some more levels. So, I went out, got a couple assets from various sources like CG Trader, uh, Unity, and really put them together to try to make something unique. I wanted the player to go downtown and feel like they can you know, have a stress reliever, walk around the city a little bit. Um, and yeah, you know, just wanted to fly around a little bit, feel like a superhero before I put everything together and show you guys what it looks like beforehand. So getting into the devlog, stick around. I'm gonna play a little music while I do some editing. Then after that, I'll explain more of the bloopers and frustrations that I went through. So after blocking out the level and getting a feel for what I really was seeing in my head, you see, as creator gods, um, you know, you gotta come down to the player's perspective and figure it out and see what they see. Um, and one of the main things is the leveling of the buildings, uh, sidewalks that may have cracks in them that lead to a fall into oblivion. We all know those falls into oblivion. But after a while, I got it to a point where I was actually comfortable enough to showcase it. Still plenty of work to do, adding all the proper collisions, uh, blocking out the areas that the player shouldn't see, and you know, falling into more cracks of oblivion. <laughs> but overall, I wanted this to be a downtown area where the player can relax, kick back for a little bit, kind of have a little bit of fun before going back into the stressful environment of the work. So after I finished that up, I wanted to work on making a car drive, but the thing was, I didn't even know how to teach that car to drive. I never programmed an NPC car before, let alone to have it obey traffic laws. So I just went with it, learned how to deal with the rotation that it currently had, and the child object itself had to turn on the Z rotation. So I had to figure out in my script exactly how I was gonna make the child object rotate. One thing I found was that the local position and rotation is what I had to get with, not the world position. So I figured that out, made a couple cool little scripts that dealt with the actual car moving and the traffic light itself and it automatically assigns the traffic light based on the trigger collision that it comes into play. A couple other bugs was this cool slow motion moving part <laughs> um, that had to do with the traffic lights. Again, um, it just was getting the closest traffic light, but I wanted it to be a little further, like in reality. Another thing you'll notice is that I also changed the color of the car, um, basically to ensure that you rarely see the same car passing by and I don't have to put so many objects in the scene, you know, especially 
with any device you want to upload a game to, the less game objects, less rendering, less physics that it has to take into account, better for your overall uh, FPS. What's this? A talking bean? Well, I guess you'll have to find out on the next devlog. Until then guys, remember, always save your projects.